Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to get rid of Quick Access in File Explorer on Windows 10. Now, as always, be sure to check the description of the video. I will provide a link to Step by Step plus this video embedded in the How To page because I do know sometimes I go a little fast. However, this one's almost as simple as double clicking a registry file and walking away. However, before we begin, let's keep in mind in File Explorer see all the stuff here you can click on view and options if you like and maybe skip the registry stuff maybe you'd be happy by making file explorer open to this pc and look down here under privacy uncheck this uncheck this and when i hit clear you'll see a few of these over here disappear again this is a pretty clean install of windows 10 so not much will disappear but if your computer's which it probably is, been running for some time and you use it quite a bit, you will see more stuff get cleared out. So by unchecking these, you can thin this out. Let's hit clear, watch the left, a little better. Yours will probably be even better. So you can at least thin it out. So if that's not gonna work for you, apply, okay. If that's not gonna work for you, let's jump to the registry edit. You should close File Explorer, although I've had success even with it open but you're going to need to close it and reopen it at some point and double click the registry file and get ready to click yes a couple of times yes I want to allow it yes I want to take the risk and that's it so let's pop open file explorer and see what we got oops did it twice there you go gone and it opens to this PC right away so kind of handy for us who have multiple drives you want to jump right to one of your drives you're there so now you're going to be wondering what about OneDrive? because a lot of people don't use it the only way you're going to get rid of one drive that we know of is to go to start settings apps scroll down and you're going to need to click twice to uninstall microsoft onedrive so if you don't use it uninstall uninstall I'm also going to stop you here and tell you I prefer to do this with Revo Uninstaller, IOBit Uninstaller, Geek Uninstaller, because it gets rid of all the registry entries and mess. You should also be aware that two, three times a year, Microsoft does what they call feature updates. There's those big updates that always break your computer. And a lot of times, it'll put OneDrive back in there. It might even reset your file explorer settings. So bookmark the video or bookmark the page so you can come back later and grab the script and if you need to change it again kind of sucks but it is what it is so how do we fix it now if i don't want this anymore one thing you can do is if you go to view options and come over here to restore defaults click apply okay you can see it doesn't do anything the reason for that is that registry key is still there so we can come back and do that later or let's open up notepad take a look right here at the script and you want to copy this part here without the brackets and click copy then we want to open registry edit windows key plus r type in reg edit hit enter and it'll come up with this let's control v for paste hit enter and as you can see I'll kind of get them side by side a little bit so you can see it what you're looking for is hub mode this didn't exist it created it for you it's right here so you want to get rid of everything and go back to where you were delete click yes click OK you're not sure back your registry up first and let's close everything out because we'd be done close it open it and it's back so once again if anything else has changed I kind of got ahead of myself which you know I do that a lot options once again, you can restore defaults and just make sure everything's where you want it. And there you go, everything's back just the way you had it before. And I still do like the options in here because just going from quick access to this PC and clearing this stuff out can do wonders for most people. Makes life a little easier. Close. Right to this PC, right to your drives. There you go. So, as always, pretty easy fix come over here to the bottom right corner there's a little major geeks icon is going to pop up so you can click subscribe save you the trouble of bouncing around click like if we helped you out look forward to your comments thank you for watching and we'll see you next time